what is up guys um been gone a little bit just been really busy um so i was doing something very cool today so i thought i'd pick up the camera and make a video um it's already filmed just filming the intro for the video now um so i had a as most of you may know i had a speed window v0.4 on my honda uh, so now i'm removing that and i'm putting a v0 point well i did put a v0.3 on there um so i just thought i would i'm record the process it's very simple i also made a thread a good while ago on the speed window forums i'll link that down in the description so you can follow it for the pinouts and whatnot um, but in this one it's pretty simple it's so pretty much a fresh installation i show you what i how i do it um there are many ways to do it like everything open source and do it yourself you can just use this as a guide um came out pretty well the car started the car run um i do supply a base map um if you follow the link on the the topic on the speed owner forums you will get the base map yeah it's for a d15 but it can work on pretty much any honda if most likely you just probably need to throw some fuel on there if you're running something bigger like a H series or a B series. And it's pretty much it's good to work on any on the OBD0 to OBD2 and I guess anything in between. Yeah, so enjoy. So we're going to be installing this today. It's pretty much a Speedway No V0.3, they're both the same. They both pretty much do the same only difference. This one is four channel. This one two channel. Not important. So figured it'd be a good time. I'm gonna make a video on how I wire up Speedwayno to a Honda. As you can see here, my car was already wired for the Speedwayno. Well, let me grab this for you. So this would essentially just plug in there goes to my stock harness so i'm going to be removing all of this wiring and i'm going to be using this the wiring harness i made from some 22 gauge wire i'm going to go into here so it will pretty much be a fresh installation so stay along for the ride so there are many ways you can do this in a previous video i showed you guys how to add a connector here quick disconnect connector this is the factory harness um you can do it that way you can do it a gazillion ways um the issue i'm using it already has some connectors onto the board so i'm just going to be wiring these straight into the harness okay so from memory i don't need to label this because i pretty much know where they're going but what you would do you start off with this if you're doing it my way cut off the wires you need label them and they would be pretty much soldered or crimped into onto here so this will go into this like so you'd be labeling it um, if you starting off so you don't get confused and then from here it'll be going straight into the ECU in addition to that you'll need a map sensor line like this um, so you may be asking which ECU which speedway node do you go with and they're all the same Pretty much internally they all the same the only difference is difference in connectors this one we have some screw terminals which goes into here like so this one the no2c has this plug the v0.4 has a idc cable and they all pretty much the same so it just boils down to what you want your finished product to look like and how skilled are you i recommend the v0.3 to newbies because it's a lot simpler to make a harness you just open this up and use a flat end screwdriver and then you would just connect your harness others would require soldering or crimping and most newbies are a bit intimidated by soldering so like i said we're just going to be hooking this up into here it will be labeled i made a thread on the speed and forum i'm going to put that link down in the description where i put a detailed write-up where well, i came up with a detailed write-up as to how to connect or how to put a speedwino on a v <laughs> on a obd1 or obd2 honda or acura they're all pretty much the same yep we're gonna pick up with some progress 
So right now we have full through the madness. We have all the wires coming from the Speedino twisted onto the relevant wires on the harness. I also have some heat shrink in line with the wires. Okay. So next step I'm gonna be soldering all of the joints and then slip the heat shrink over them and then apply some heat and that should just about wrap it up some folks will tell you don't solder some folks could tell you will tell you to use some butt terminals or whatever it is it's called i i usually just find the the crimp terminals the butt connectors or whatever it is called i find it looks a bit messy i prefer this method you get a cleaner setup we can go back and forth as to soldering versus crimping and but i just do what works for me and this works just fine so yep we're gonna solder and then we're gonna pick up in a bit hey guys so it's been about two hours two and a half i spent about half of that time looking for tools and whatnot but we have the finished product speed in a box map sensor line and wiring harness um this box the speed winner box i'm actually gonna be putting it in my glove box so it's only temporary i'm gonna be throwing in some throwing on some loom on the harness make it look a bit neater and when you're done you will well if you looked at the the link i have with the write-up on the forum you'll get a base map a link to download a base map i mean and then from there i also have videos showing you how to upload a base map and whatnot to get started just check the playlist on this channel and then from here all you need to do is load the base map and start her up let's see if we can get a start out of here and then we'll wrap it up <laughs> Yep, so she's running. In a nutshell, recap, speed window V0.3. Um, we wired it directly to the stock Honda harness. This can work for OBD0, OBD1, OBD2, whichever Honda you have. Um, in my case, I'm using a, this is a 97, EK sedan with a D15. Uh, mine is turbocharged, but the base map I supply is on any setup. You can tweak it from there to run on a B20, B series, F series, H series, whatever. Yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm hoping to make this really short. So, like anything else, guys, if you have a question, leave it down in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share. Till the next time, stay safe, guys.